I had a complete and different intro planned. Give me uh, three orders of biscuit and gravy, three hash browns, and two sides of sausage. Well, I had an accident. Are you hungry? <laughs> You're using the wrong end. Here, guys, come on. Is that good breakfast? Mm. No. You're eating it awful good. Hey, beautiful lady. Yes. We need to go to the grocery. I know. What are you doing? Hi, cheese face. What's up? <laughs> Some good chippies? So what's going on, y'all? Listen, I'm gonna say this right off the bat because I'm hearing this more than anything. Yes, there's gonna be some cooking involved in this video right here. <coughs> Are you okay? <coughs> but we'll get to that shortly. So yes, in this video, I'm gonna make my baked taco casserole surprise walking taco, whatever you wanna call it. It's good. That's what I'm gonna call it. I think y'all gonna enjoy this one quite a bit. Even though our sides is gonna be a little strange. Ma, we're kind of getting in the habit of having a Sunday dinner up here. Mom wanted a meatloaf and I was like, well, I done and planned on making this for a cooking video. So we're gonna have corn and green beans as a side. Fresh corn and fresh green beans right out of the garden. But with a baked taco thing, that's kind of a, a weird combination. Not so much the corn, but the green beans. It's neither here nor there because those green beans will not make it through the night because I know about 10, 30, 11 o'clock, I am going to tear into them and there ain't gonna be nothing left. I do it every time. I love my green beans. And here's little mama spoiling everybody's appetite. More cheapies? What? The chips. Your chips? You got cheapies? Mmm. You know that child is gonna cause us to pull her hair out, right? Her? Yeah. She's maybe, got maybe your not. sass. She's got your attitude. We're in trouble. I'm Say telling daddy, you. maybe not. If you guys ever wonder why our chairs are flipped upside down, overlook me. I've been cleaning. It's because Colton likes to get up in the chair and dig up in the cabinet, or he likes to push the chair over here, get in the sink, and spray water everywhere. So that's why our chairs are flipped upside down, in case anybody's wondering. It's cause of you two. It's your fault. Uh-oh, get your chippy. Fair hurry. 10 second rules expiring. Three, yeah. two, one. Mama's gonna have to uh, mop after dinner because somebody splattered a juice all over the floor and I was like, ah, after dinner. Mm -hmm. <laughs> What's the point in doing it twice? Y'all drop a comment down below. Let me know. Do you want a cooking video and ever vlog? Now that I got my time freed up more, I'll be able to get back to cooking a lot more because my time was thin. It had me stressed out, but now I'm feeling better. I'm inspired. Y'all see we're banging these videos out. Three a week right now. That's Monday, Wednesday, and I did a Saturday, but it seems like the biggest part of y'all didn't even realize I put a video up on Saturday. And then I got to looking and then like, in my analytics, not a lot of y'all are on YouTube on Saturdays. So I think we may try to either target Monday, Wednesday, and Sunday, or Monday, Wednesday, and Friday with some filler here and there. But leave us a comment below. Let us know what you think about the cooking videos. What about the set down videos or the taste testing videos that we used to do? Oh, num num, I know you'd like back at them. You get all kinds of candy. And then you get crazy and spun out. And then we got a wild child to deal with. More taste testing videos? Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, I knew he'd want to do the taste testing videos. It's a bunch of candy. I mean, what kid wouldn't? Chloe don't even know nothing about it yet, because I don't know if we've done too many since Chloe's been here. How would you like to taste some new stuff? You looking at the light on the camera? I got a light for the camera just because of the simple fact that this house has its dark spot, so I got this big cube light floating around on the side of my camera now, but at least we don't have those crazy dark spots. You ready to see Mamo? Bubble. Why do you call her Popo? Bubble. Say Mamo! Bubble! Hey, can I ask you a question? How would you like to try some taste testing videos in the future? Yes, you just like your mama. What are you doing? I am getting the corn ready for you. For me? For you. you ain't gonna... Good lord. You ain't gonna make the corn? 
I gotta well, do I can that make too. Them. It's as simple as putting it in a bowl and pot of water, but hey. I figured get it out of the way so I'm not in your way. How's the best way to tell that your corn is done? I don't know, that's a funky looking piece of... <laughs> you gotta break the tip off. The corn though. How do you get the perfect corn? You boil it for seven to eight minutes and then turn There's it off. There's a better way to do it. Ow. So simple. The water will tell you it's done. Here's the best way to do your corn if you didn't know. Put your pot of water on the bowl. Once it comes to a rapid boil, add your corn in. Once it starts boiling again, the corn's done. That's the best way I can explain it. Works perfect. I've done it like that my whole life. You haven't even gotten any of the corn. Do I gotta do a hero shot of you shucking corn? Yes, you probably okay. should. Mm -hmm. I still gotta get all the strings off of it too, though. She done and seen it. <laughs> Eat that corn, Cece. Oh, she loves her corn. Yes, she does. You know, Colton used to love corn, you guys. I mean, he would eat a whole cob and then want another one, just like Chloe's doing now. Now, he give him a corn cob and he throws it to the side or hands it to her. He don't want it anymore. It's crazy. You take it, won't you, Sissy? So I'll take all the corn you want to give me. You want some corn? Her hair, you guys, it cannot be tamed, no matter what I do. I gave her a bath last night. It made sure I sat there for a few minutes brushing it to each side to try to get it to part and lay down. 10 minutes later, it oh. was like, and she sweats so bad. When we go outside, I mean, she's instant, like, it's soaking wet. So I think she might, she's probably gonna have oily hair. She is sitting there just waiting on this corn. Cece, we still got some time before you can get your corn. Baby, it's gotta be cooked. Look at how curly this hair has got, you know. It's it gotta is. be cooked, honey. All right, Dad. Oh, and now you want get corn. Get this out of the way before that gets drug into the floor. What? Bye-bye. In a minute. Bye-bye. We getting bye bye very soon. All right, so I know you've been waiting on me to get back in the kitchen a while. I know, I've read the comments, I've seen it. Y'all going crazy. So I'm getting back in the kitchen, going to do a little cooking. Today I'm going to show y'all how to make, you can call it a walking taco, you can call it a taco casserole, you can call it a baked taco, whatever. So let's head over this way and I'll show you what you're going to need. You're going to need some hamburger meat, some cheese, some cream cheese. Of course, some onions, a can of black beans, a can of enchilada sauce, a can of rotel with some green chilies, a pack of taco seasoning, and some chips. Now, of course, the first thing you want to do, start browning your beef. Now, you can also use chicken, turkey, pork. It can be anything. It doesn't have to be any kind of ground beef. Now for the onions. Now with the onions, you can use any kind of your favorite onions. It doesn't have to be green onions. I just like those because they're not as strong as your typical onion. So if you want to use a red onion or a yellow onion or a white onion, go right ahead. And I'm just going to mince them up just a little. Now that you got your onions chopped up, let's go over here and add them to the pan. Just like so. So now that you got your beef browned, what you want to do is add your dry taco seasoning and your rotel with the green chilies, juice and all. Just mix this all together. Oh, it's already smelling delicious. Now you just want to cook all the water out of that and let it simmer. And once the majority of that juice cooks out, just go ahead and add your cream cheese in there, stir it around, let it melt in. Mm. Y'all don't even know yet. It's gonna change your life and change your dinner around your house. Yeah, I can't sing. That's why y'all have not heard me make an album yet. Now just cut this down on a simmer and just let all these flavors blend together real slowly. Now turn your heat back up to medium. Take your black beans and wash them. Add them in. Make your enchilada sauce. Pour it right in there, mix this up, let this all heat up evenly. Now let this all warm up. Now what you do is so you layer your chips in. Like I said, you can use corn chips, the yellow chips, whichever one's your favorite, you can use even the same with the cheese. 
onions. These could, these recipes can be substituted to your family's favorite. Now, once you got your chips, come over and get you some taco meat. Put about half of this in your first layer. Get it all spread out even. You want your chips covered. Now that you got that, add you a layer of cheese. Another layer of chips. I'm about messed up there. See, I put a layer of meat. Y'all ain't ready for this. I'm telling you, y'all ain't ready for this. I wish I could give you smell-o-vision because this house smells wonderful. And add your last layer of meat. Megan and her spurtles. Y'all, this is looking delicious. Oh my goodness, I'm so ready for this. And then add the rest of your cheese on top here. If you was wondering why I have band-aids on my finger now, it's because that cheese grater I just bought is a medieval beast. So I didn't have enough cheddar. So I'm gonna substitute with a little mozzarella. On to the oven. And now in a 350 degrees preheated oven, the slider in there, let it bake for about 15 to 20 minutes or until that cheese is golden brown. Can we talk about this cucumber for a minute? Talk to your mother about this cucumber. What in the world? <laughs> I, I've never seen a cucumber that long. Like, hold it up to my forearm. That's as long as my feet to my fingers up to the bend. Of ain't, ain't this like the burpless English cucumbers or something? That's a giant cucumber. <coughs> Sissy, are you still sitting here trying to get you some bye bites? Daddy, she's seen the corn, and ever since she's Boy, seen it. Oh, look here, y'all. Oh, yeah, she's ready. She's ready. Come here, baby. Here, hand me a, another. I'll probably get burnt when this out of the oven, too. I done it got cut. Oh, my goodness. Look at this thing. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Still bubbling hot. Yum. Mm. Oh, if you guys could smell. Now, once that cools off for a minute. It'd be time for the taste test. Come here. Don't say nothing. Just hold the camera for me. As I'm scooping this out of the thing. It's already recording. Just need you holding it while I scoop it. I don't have that camera in the way. I'm just making sure it's on record. Taste test time, little mama. Let's see how good it is. Yeah. Mm. Delicious. Oh, huh? that is really good. Mm. Holy crap. That's hitting the spot. That's yeah. good. <laughs> Y'all do not pass up on this. Y'all do not pass up on this. Guarantee your families are gonna love it. Like I said, call it a walking taco, call it a taco casserole, call it, call it a baked taco. I don't care what you call it, but top that with some sour cream. Just eat it, y'all, it's good. You sure ain't gonna miss a bite bite, are you? I missed you running in here wide open. You needing your chair? Daddy, put you in your chair. Right, oh, man. Soup's on, y'all. You want some bite bites, bud? Bye bites. Bye bites. Where you? Okay, that's complicated. You gotta get in your chair. You gotta get in your chair. You just cause you pooped in the potty don't mean you're a big giant boy yet. Yeah. <laughs> Your chair. Oh, this is a good Where's spread. Like I said, that's kind of out of place with the rest of it because this is like country grub and this is. <laughs> it's still good. Like Tex Mex. Yes, delicious. Actually, those flavors go pretty good together. Do they? Like it's already half gone and we ain't even okay. got ready to eat yet. Cleaning up after that wonderful meal, I see. Of course. Was it yummy? Yeah, that was really good. No joke. I think that's probably close to one of the best. What was the best? You said close to one of the best, so you should have known. No, I'm putting you on the spot. It was the spaghetti baked once, the meatloaf. It just varies, it changes. Um, sir, can we not with this chair? No. 
You know the chairs have to stay there, mister. <laughs> Don't you start there. Where you going? Little bow-legged baby. So what do you think, Ma? Was it good? It was good, but I'm waiting for them chicken and dumplings. The chicken and dumplings? Yeah. I'm gut busted. Like, to say the least, I'm going to sit here and relax. Chloe was running laps in the living room. She probably run about 15 circles. I got dizzy watching her. I was like, this child is going to throw up at any moment. <laughs> Where you going? Are you going to be okay? Are you wanting your hungry? You want any hungry? Now go sit down somewhere and relax. Y'all, I'm not gonna lie, we're having problems adulting right now. Adulting? Yeah. What does that mean? We're having problems adulting because of this TV show. You guys, me and Sean don't watch TV anymore. We really don't. It's always on something educational for the kids or one of their favorite movies. Like, we just don't watch TV. We have been into this series today. If y'all haven't seen Terminal List, I highly recommend it. It's amazing so far. This is season one. It's got Chris Pratt in it. Phenomenal. Show. We're only on episode four, too, and it's good. Yeah, it's real good. Like, acting at the plot, like, everything good. And you know you don't ever hear us say anything about movies. So for us to be hyping Wait, it up. it's not a movie. It's a series. Yeah, it's a series. So you never hear us say anything about anything like that. This one's good. I'm having a worse time adult because I have a migraine, you guys. I've been two weeks without coffee. I've cut coffee out. Today, I've only had one pop. I think I'm going through a caffeine headache because it's right here. But I've had, like I said, no coffee in like two weeks, but I have had pop every day. But today I didn't have my first one until what, like three? It was a while. I drank water all day. I'm trying to lose weight, detox the caffeine out a little bit, a lot less sugar and stuff. The headache, it's Well, we've me. been coming off sugar for a while. Well, it's in the pop. I know, but, but I mean, we've been I've slowly. I've one today, so that's a huge cutback from four or five. Y'all no joke, we can eat cookies or something like that now, and it's like eat one, and they're super it's, sweet, leaves a horrible taste in her mouth. It's overwhelming. Yeah. You don't realize it, I guess, when you eat it all the time, but when you really start to back off of sugar and things that got sugar in it, and you do eat it, you're like, whoa, like a bite or two, and it's just, it's a lot. Yeah, pretty good, hungry. Man, that hair has a mind of its own. <laughs> <laughs> it cannot be tamed right now. It's until it gets to where I can part it and actually do something with it to start taming it to lay a certain way. Right now, it's only long enough for me to put two tiny little pigtails and she starts going, I think it makes her head sore. So I just do one right in the center, but it's, it's out of control. Well, I mean, the rest of her hair is so curly. It doesn't matter anyway. That's what's weird too. The back of her hair and sides is all curled, but the top is just like, I don't know. <laughs> You're silly. <laughs> Bubba, what are you over there doing? Daddy, he's taking a rest and being calm. He has been on 95 all day. 95? They've been on 105. Oh my gosh. I heard 6 o'clock, 6.30 this morning, it was... And it ain't yes. quit until now. Yes. <laughs> She's still... <laughs> <laughs> you got milk everywhere, girl. Because <laughs> well, she's drinking. Turn it this way. Turn the. <laughs> Miss sassy pants. Now what? <laughs> Y'all, I'm trying to get up in the woods and do Wednesday's video, but I don't think it's going to happen. Getting rain again. Let's see here. Looks like thunderstorms all day. The radar is not looking good. It looks like it's skirting past us mostly. And there's some good little storms. Thank God Virginia is getting a pass on this one. We've been getting a lot of rain. And our neighbors over to the east, Virginia, has got hammered. One town about got wiped out. Yeah, here it comes again. We've been getting weeks and weeks and weeks of rain. The ground's just uh, saturated. The water has nowhere to go except down these little creeks and everything. And then as they go, they continue to wash everything out. Then they start to get clogged and overrun. 
it's a mess right now y'all i'm hoping this will pass though because i really do i'm not so much worried about getting up it's the thunderstorms because it would suck to be up in the woods and be right where a tree gets hit with lightning or something like that i don't know i have to wait and see what it's gonna do me and little mama may film something else and i try to do a chronicles for the weekend maybe like friday or something like that but my filming rig i finally like the package got lost i got in contact with the company they're sending me another one maybe i'll just wait and film it wednesday just shoot another vlog and then film the chronicles wednesday and may move it to friday who knows we're still working the bugs out but as you see we are back so make sure you got those notifications turned on turn them on all follow us on instagram put it here it's the underscore underscore hillbillies or follow us on facebook because i always try to let y'all know one way or another what color you want you want blue does it turn blue oh i didn't know it kept going i thought it stopped at white and red there really? you go yeah <laughs> what did it red. Red. red red you like the red one we were doing letters on his board and right. after about 10 minutes i guess he had had enough like i think so wow. yeah <laughs> Are you drinking letters? Are you, what, what are you drinking there? Are you oh, drinking, drinking triangles and what is that? Oh, oh. good job. What is it? Oh, oh. <laughs> that was cute. So it's how is Yellowstone? Oh, it's literally heaven on earth. No, let me tell you something. I missed her face being here, that's for sure. Just well, the house presence. didn't stink as bad though. <laughs> hey, Pebbles. Pebbles. Stop. She said stop. Stop, stop. Daddy. Her's doing, stop. she's learning too. Daddy. Say, we doing books. Stop. What is that? Star? Say it. Star. She says star. Say it. Star. Star. Oh, star. Say, hey, say red. Oh, no. <laughs> star. What do you say? Star. Dog. She's, <laughs> she's so interested. What do you say? <laughs> say duck. Duck. <laughs> you two are silly, you know that. She's so. Funny. You about choked me. That's my Adam's apple. Is it cold? White. Ooh, mm. it's cold. His shape he's drinking is cold. Oh. It's got ice in it. it got ice in it? Yeah, it's got ice in it. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Darling. Well, y'all, we're going to get out of here. I'm going to try to figure out what to do for the next video because I don't know if it's going to start raining or not. It's supposed to pour all day. Don't you have some snails in there to eat? <laughs> I think they're raspberry flavored too. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we love y'all. Until the next time. Stay positive, y'all. Stay country. And stay true to your roots. Y'all might see me with a different hairdo soon. Bye. Oh. <laughs> <laughs>